Welcome back everyone, Criminal Archer here, time for some more Project Zomboid. So today, we're gonna do what by probably anybody's some uh, estimation would be considered something dumb. Because, you know, it's always nice to do something dumb every once in a while. I mentioned, I think in the last episode I mentioned a, uh, a walled off place over by the police station. Where there's no way to get in, so you can just sit just sit behind the wall and shoot at uh, zombies all you want. Um, we're gonna go back there, or we're gonna go there, I guess we haven't. We've been to the police station, sort of, but we haven't been there. And I'm gonna see about... Uh, about just hanging out and cleaning out as many zombies as I possibly can. I've put... I have 13 shells, <laughs> shotgun shell boxes, and I've got a little bit of 9 mil for uh, emergencies. I really would like to find some beta blockers. Do I have any extra beta blockers anywhere? Sure would be nice if I was organized. Be in first aid, it's not there. Because I have a feeling we're gonna need them. <laughs> just a, just a assumption that we're gonna need them. A uh, the little bit of protection from uh, from being wound up. Disinfectant. Here's some. All right, we'll take another box of those. All right, let me eat some food and then we're gonna hit the road. If this works okay, it's actually will have the added benefit of uh, clearing out a section of downtown of most of the zombies, but we'll see. We'll see if it even works. Maybe we'll die. <laughs> Hopefully not. So here's our old friend, the police station. I missed it and had to come back around. That's why I'm coming at it from a direction you would not expect there. The the walled-in spot is right over here. Which we will have to kill some of the zombies that are hanging out inside, but it shouldn't be too bad. Alright, hop out. Please don't miss this jump. We are a little overweight. Okay, we're good. Whew, okay. Let's kill the ones in here with uh, just a standard mess. me. Sneaky boy. Alright, so you see they're just, they're just bobbing their heads around because they can't get to us. Just gonna double check to make sure there's no entrances here that I've been misled about. Also, that there are no uh, surprise zombies hiding anywhere. It's weird that this is not flipping away. All right, no, we're safe. Okay. So yeah, so if you ever want to train your aiming, you can come over here, and they can't get to you. Although we are having that, that uh, range issue again through the fence. Oh yeah, reload. They're actually not attracting as many zombies as I thought it would. I knew that they wouldn't, uh, oh, there's this guy who has, uh, has an axe. Yeah, it's like the one's right along the fence It doesn't want to, doesn't want to, uh, target for some reason. Alright, this might, uh, this might turn out worse than I thought, because... I thought we would be able to kill all these guys before we have to leave, which would, uh... Really. Which, as you imagine, would protect us from terrible consequences of our actions. I can kill some of them at least. Oh, 
Oh, now they're coming in. Now we've made a terrible choice. <laughs> well, I have no choice but to try and thin them out this way. At this point. I'm just moving, basically moving up and down the fence line until I see a uh, green green uh, outline start to show up. Now we got some stuff going on here. Keep forgetting they only have two shots. For some reason, when I'm doing it like this, where there's little threat, I forget. <laughs> I need the threat to keep my mind sharp. I suppose the answer to the question. So we'll get them. Clear them out eventually, but it's gonna be a gonna be a slower road than I thought. Oh, is that it? the end of that box? Go and open two boxes. So we have shells to, shells to work with. Alright, I'm gonna work on this for a while. <laughs> this is, apparently this is gonna take a lot longer than I thought it was going to. And it's probably not that exciting, considering it's just me shooting through a fence. Um, so I will be back. If anything dramatic happens, or uh, when I feel like I'm done here. Just a quick update. This is how it's going. We're, uh... We were making a hole here that was that was working pretty well, but then the, uh... Bunch of them just... A bunch of new zombies just decided to show up and fill the hole. So, you know, we're, we're getting there. We're a little bit at a time. I should have checked to see how many zombies we had killed before I started this project. Just to see how many that we will have killed by the end. I'm trying to stay down this end, so that when I make a break for it, that end is clear. <laughs> so that we actually have an escape route. Because <laughs> I don't really want to get stuck here for forever. But we'll see how it goes. Alright, let's see what we can do with the, just the pistol. Who can I target with you? Still nobody along the fence line, huh? Seems to always be further out into the field. And back up, can I get him? No. It's like we have to, they just don't want to shoot the ones close up. Which is probably, it's probably some sort of anti-cheese system, which is sort of working. <laughs> All right, let me take this. I think we're gonna get a little spicy now because I'm, uh, getting bored of doing it this way so we're gonna we're gonna get ready here and I'm gonna dash down here and hop the fence um, can I put something away that would can I get underweight here Let's see if I can manage it coffee there we go all right we're gonna dash down here and then jump the fence and then probably see what we can do about killing out this group of zombies But we'll see how this goes.
Now it's spicy. No more hiding behind. Let's go in here, actually. This is a relatively quiet spot. Let's everybody come in here. Should prevent any surprise zombies coming from any direction, because this is the only way in and out is that one fence right there. I was getting a little close right there. <laughs> Worked out okay. Woohoo. Woohoo. Whereas now we're pulling zombies in from different places. Ooh, look at that for that that little bit of uh, action along the fence line over there. Those are zombies coming from somewhere else. Okay, might have, might have done things a little bit too much here. This may have been a bit more than I should probably be trying to handle at once. I got 48 shells left. Let's see what we can do with that, and then I'll leave once we're once we're done with these. Another situation where I should have brought some fire with me. I was thinking we were downtown, so you don't want to mess with fire when you're downtown. But, uh, I think we could probably get away with fire in this little, uh, area right here. It's enough space for me to maneuver so that I could keep zombies off of me. But at the same time, um... Ooh, this is not great. Hop, hop, don't miss. Woo, okay. Alright. I know I said I was going to do all 48 shells, but uh, things got a little out of control there. <laughs> Most of them seem to have lost track of me. They don't seem to be following. Can we get back to the cars? That's the big question right now. Still would love to get into the police station. There's an armory in there somewhere. Ooh, look at him go. Let's just stand over here for a second while we wait for those guys to, uh... to filter around back before we go back to the car. <laughs> a lot of noise. There's a swing and a miss on that guy. That would have been kind of tragically hilarious if the, the that single zombie would have gotten me at this point. Also somewhat on brand, if I'm being honest. Alright, I think we can, we can go for it here. Good, started first try. I was a little worried it wasn't going to start first try. Alright, well that was interesting. <laughs> I also have no idea how long this episode is. Right now it's probably a little short, so let's uh, let's do something different for a second. Oh, it's fire station. Let's check out the fire station. At least I think this looks like a fire station. Maybe it's just an EMS, EMS place? I don't know. Although maybe we're not. We seem to be uh, maybe too close still. Oh no, here come the firefighters. Yeah, it's fire. It's a firefighter's place. Problem with the firefighters is that I want their clothes. So I can't kill them with my uh, sharp instruments. Never mind. I 
All right, so in that in that big fight with all the zombies, I did get another level of aiming and another level of reloading. Well, while I was doing that, so it was not a complete waste of time. So we did achieve some things. It's another TV or radio station. Good. I was hoping that that would be open on the other side. <laughs> Bowling? Oh, and here's one of our fire... the areas where we were burning stuff before. But yeah, that one little empty lot, I think we could probably get away with... if we were a little smarter about it, we could probably get away with burning zombies without burning the entire, uh... place down. Because there is enough, there's enough room to move. Especially if I don't bring like every zombie in the area at the same time. Probably take the time to fill up these cars at some point. Eh, where did you come from? That's the closest the zombies gotten to the base in a while. We'll deal with them when it gets even closer. For now, we can just hang out. Let's get the gate closed. So yeah, so no idea how long this episode is going right now. See if there's anything around the base that we need to do. Any base keeping sort of items that need handling. I don't think so. I mean, on the roof, it probably would be in our best interest to plant another round of crops. But, um, I don't need it. So in living in Louisville, there's just too much food available. So it's almost like, what's even the point? You know. Oh, how's our generator doing? I feel like it's probably 14% uh, fuel. Yeah, that's the thing we need to deal with. Okay. Alright, I think I have a gas can on me. Yes, I do. Is there another one in my storage somewhere? Probably. Yeah, right there. Tell you what, this ranger car is a trooper. It, uh, I'm surprised that it has continued to function as long as it has, considering the abuse we've been putting it through. <laughs> Still, even has his windshield, which is the extra impressive part. Right, where's that one zombie? You, sir. This is this is my neighborhood. You're not allowed here. This is a strictly humans-only neighborhood. No zombies. Close enough. Anybody coming? I don't know. We pull it. We've been pulling some zombies into this area. Don't want to accidentally get jumped while we're in the middle of this. Refuel from gas pump. Take fuel. Take fuel. All right. Turn off. I'm thirsty, huh? Let's unpack some of these water bottles that I'm carrying around. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Mm, some more zombies coming into the neighborhood. Oh, and some more. I don't have time for you guys right now. A little over, a little overweight carrying all these uh, gas cans, but we'll deal with you later. Whoops, wrong side. 
Always want to make sure you're on the correct side of the fence. What just... What did you just do? Oh, there's where my rifle was. I was wondering where that went. Alright, now it's up to 94% fuel, 73% condition. 73% condition is fine. At some point we want to think about repairing it, but it's not gonna... Not gonna explode right now. Alright. Well, I think I'm gonna stop here. I know this this might turn out to be a pretty short episode. I'm not really sure exactly. But, uh, but... Seems like a natural stopping point for today, so I'll stop here and see you next time.